Hey, your viewers and viewers, my name is General Red Stratist, and welcome back to Danganronpa V3. This is episode 44. My god, so a lot of stuff happened in the last episode, and I still don't know what to make of it, in all honesty. I don't know whether to believe it or whatever. I'm actually recording this episode more or less straight after the last one. It's the same day. I just took a quick uh, five or ten minute break just to go and get myself a hot drink. So, Kokichi basically outed himself as the mastermind. Apparently. Apparently the world is destroyed. We were supposed to be in space. We are basically on a spaceship, but it appears that, for whatever reason, the spaceship is uh, back on Earth. Kokichi basically says that uh, this whole killing game is to exterminate the... Well, was to exterminate the 16 remaining humans, because apparently the rest of humanity is dead and all that. And um, he apparently has control of the Exosiles, which is a thing. And he's... I guess taken Kaito hostage, but oh man, I I, I don't know. I don't know whether to believe any of it. I mean, I, I said I gave a few reasons why I'm struggling to kind of accept this in the last episode, but on top of those, it's just the fact that it's Kokichi. We know he's a fucking troll and a bloody liar, and we don't know what's going through his head. And it's only chapter five. We've only had four murder trials in this game so far. If this is the truth, and this game is kind of going about exposition in a very different way to how previous Danganronpa games have done it, and maybe that's just why it feels so jarring and it feels so weird, and I just don't know whether to trust it or not, I, I really don't know. I feel like there's still twists that are kind of yet to happen here. But uh, apart from that, uh, I also just want to talk about something else, very quickly. Just um, a little anecdote, which I found mildly amusing. So, um, like I say, I'm recording this episode straight after the last one, more or less. It's um, 10th of February, incidentally, as of when I'm actually recording this. By the time this video goes out, it might be a week or two uh, after that. But, yeah, 10th of February, in an evening. Um, you know, I've been doing my work most of the day. Got that out of the way, so I decided to relax have a little mini recording session for Danganronpa, and um, just after I recorded episode 43, I um, decided, like I said, to take a quick quick break before I started recording this one, five or ten minutes, just to go and make myself a hot drink, and as I was um, putting my hot drink together, because I made myself a little uh, cocoa, a little hot chocolate, because it's uh, an evening, it's nine o'clock in the evening, I don't want to drink tea now at this time, otherwise I'll be, feel like I'll be awake all night, but um, as I was making my hot drink, I felt a bit peckish, as you do sometimes. So I decided to uh, get a snack. Now, I got a uh, tube of Pringles in my cupboard, right? And I uh, grabbed them thinking, you know, I'll just get I'll just get a few Pringles, nom on a few of those. And so I did. I did that. And then, as I was nomming down on Pringles, I noticed something weird on the, um, on the tube. And I noticed, now. I'll probably see if I can flash up a picture of this actually on screen, because I just thought it was one of those weird little coincidences in life that sometimes happens. Basically, on the tube, on the Pringles tube, the word HOPE was emblazoned across it in big letters, the front of it. And I just thought, weird. <laughs> weird that I'm playing Danganronpa. And in the previous episode, they were starting to talk about fucking hope and despair all over again. I go into my kitchen, I pick up a Pringles tube, and it literally has the word hope on it. Is some kind of Danganronpa god trying to send me some kind of signal here? <laughs> I feel like in, you know, bygone centuries, people would have uh, interpreted that in, uh, in a supernatural or spiritual way. But no, I just thought it was a weird little thing. So I thought, you know, I'd just say about it here. So I found uh, Nagato Komaeda's um, favourite brand of crisp, everybody, clearly. But with that aside, someone is at our door... Shuichi wonders who it is. I'm not entirely sure. I mean, normally I'd say Kaito, but he, as far as we're aware, is now being held hostage by Kokichi, so maybe Maki? I'm not sure. Who could it be, Josie? Well, I guess we'll find out. Do I still get modern coins? Oh, I do. For beating the furniture around. Get rid of that lamp. There we go. And the desk. Alright, who's there? On my feet for the first time in a long while, I walked uneasily to the door, Josie. Yeah, Shuichi, I'm guessing, has just been locked in his room for a couple of nights. Just fucking depressed. I slowly opened it and... Ah, it's Maki, yeah. <sighs> Guess right. You look terrible. Yeah, I think... 
is Mackie still going to be feeling a bit, a bit, um, how should I say, annoyed at Shuichi after Shuichi um, surrendered the Exile Hangar Control to Kukichi? Because I think that might be where Kaito is being held. Uh, um... Maki, okay. <laughs> yeah, Shuichi, <laughs> you do look a bit um, worse for wear, not going to lie. Mm -hmm. Go take a shower or something, anything to help your face. I'll be in the dining hall with everyone else. Huh? Everyone, Josie? Okay. I'll be waiting, so hurry up. Okay. Yes, I feel like what Shuichi needs now is just a quick semblance of normality to try and get him out of this funk. Maki spoke curtly and left, Josie. Everyone is waiting in the dining hall. Uh, um... I guess I should go. Yes. Okay, is it just going to automatically do it? I hurried and took a hot shower, then left my room. Hmm. This is like how Hajime was at the end of Trial 5 in DR2. Remember that? Where he just sort of almost... It was almost as if he'd given up. Almost. And he just stayed in his room. Hmm. I say, still don't know whether to trust anything that I've heard or not. It just all seems really, I don't know, kind of convenient or just not trustworthy. Again, it's Kokichi. Do we accept any of this as true? I don't know. I mean, granted, he does seem to have control of the Exosiles, but uh, if Miyu can create things like electro hammers and stuff like that, do you think she could possibly create a way of controlling the Exosiles? I don't know. Everyone was in the dining hall, besides Kokichi and Kaito. But mentally, they weren't really there, Josie. The life had gone out of their eyes. <sighs> Everyone here looks terrible. <sighs> yeah, really? Even I look terrible? <sighs> My face always looks like that. <sighs> yeah, what are we talking about? <sighs> We're discussing how we want to die, right? <gasps> what? <sighs> I want to go without suffering. Maki, can you do something about that? Okay. Wow. Okay, people are literally suicidal. Sure, but before that, take a look at this. Oh. Where did you get that? Maki, have you got something you want to tell us? Is that a flashback light, Josie? Okay, we probably need to talk to Maki. Well, this is an interesting twist. Let me just beat some furniture around whilst I ponder what just uh, transpired then. Okay, let's talk to everyone, then we'll talk to Maki. Yeah, even in such a dire situation, robophobia still persists. <laughs> Is that all you can worry about? <sighs> hey, the flashback light, but now that we've learned everything, there's no point to it. I don't know. It's only chapter five. If she's got a flashback light, that means there's probably something else. There's some twist that we haven't encountered yet. Still waiting to happen. Don't stop me, I just want to die. Tenko probably won't be mad if I chose to die in this situation. No, don't say that. Alright, Maki. Show us the flashback oh. light. Maki, why do you have that? I see. It was on top of the table when I went to the dining hall this morning. Huh? It was just sitting there, Josie? Kokichi probably just put it there. Well then. May I have to confirm the truth, perhaps? If we use our flashback light, we may recover memories that corroborate his story. So we're supposed to use the flashback light to confirm the truth, Kokichi told us. Hey, we don't need to confirm anything. We saw the outside world for ourselves. Oh, you see, uh, I, was it the outside world, though? Because uh, my my hypothesis earlier in the game was that maybe this is a virtual reality again, like DR2 was, but you never know, do you? I mean, admittedly, it got a bit... I sort of began to wonder if I was right there when we got to Case 4 and the virtual world there, unless it's literally virtual layers in virtual layers or something. And I don't know. I really don't know what to believe. Mm -hmm. Do you want to die comfortably? I can help you, but we should check this flashback light first. Huh? What? Mm -hmm. Why do we have to do that? Because. It's the only thing we can do right now. Well, I'm glad you're taking charge. Because everyone else just seems to have given up. If we're going to die, then we might as well do anything we can. We'll have no regrets that way. That's right. And even if it is dangerous, it won't matter anymore, right? Either way, 
There's nothing for us to lose. We don't have any hope left. Well... So let's do what we can. <sighs> well, well, okay. Things won't end up any worse than they already are. <sighs> so when you kill me, will it be like I'm falling asleep? It's decided. Then it's decided. Kibo, Shuichi, are you fine with that? <sighs> yeah, very well then. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, show us. What is it? Unless it was decided, Josie. Fairly painlessly. A flash by light suddenly appeared. Nothing could be more obvious and suspicious. But because our spirits were already broken, we had nothing to lose anyway. Okay, I'm gonna turn it on. Maki switched on the flash by light, and at that moment, the world flipped upside down. <laughs> suddenly I just thought of the Fresh Prince freaking uh, opening credits turned inside out. What are we going to see? Is it going to be another piece of the puzzle? Another twist? That that's that's it. I remember. Everything is connected. And we had forgotten. We've forgotten that everything is connected. Connected? Connected to what? I mean Right? What? I'm sorry? I thought this one wasn't connected to the... What? Okay, right. They've been making references back to the previous games. Right? And all this while, I've been sort of... For the most part, I've just been brushing them off, thinking, okay, it's probably just references. Oh my god. So does this game... Is this game set in the same timeline, then, as all the others? And does it follow on from the events of the past? I don't even know what to think anymore. Okay, so I knew there was going to be a fucking twist, but... I won't lie, this was not what I was expecting. It all started at that academy, Josie. A government-backed school that nurtured the most talented students in various subjects. Hope's Peak Academy. Got the fucking music as well. That's the original Danganronpa theme tune. And the event that tore that school apart changed the world. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history, Josie. It triggered a wave of terrorism and war across the world. Humanity's true despair. Oh my god, we are. We're actually going back to the whole hope and despair thing. Half the world was destroyed as a result of the terrible violence. And that tragedy was caused by a single... Oh my god. No, don't bring her back. <laughs> Here she is. She's always got to be in it somewhere, hasn't she? It always comes back to you. Doesn't it, Junko? always comes back to you. Choose whatever means necessary to paint the world in despair, Josie. Oh my god. The killing game of the 78th class of Hope Speak Academy was the same way. Trapped by the ultimate despair, forced into a killing game, Josie. But after Junko and Ashima died, the case was closed, and the world began to slowly recover. Junko's disciples, the remnants of despair, weren't done so in chaos. The future Foundation fought against them, trying to restore order. The war between hope and despair grew more and more extreme, Josie. The fight raged on, but came to a sudden end. And right then, it was from then on that we remembered. It was the beginning of our truth. So, this is set after the events of the previous games? Sometime in the future? One day, terrible despair suddenly rained from the sky. Countless number of meteorites fell upon the world, carrying an unknown virus. Oh. Well, that's new. <laughs> Emboldened by the overwhelming despair, the remnants cried, Humanity deserves damnation. The remnants? You mean the class from DR2? But they were all fine at the end of the whole previous Danganronpa story arc, weren't they? The 
Future Foundation was overwhelmed by the renewed despair and quickly lost influence. But then... Makoto Naeke, oh god. <laughs> oh, friggin' uh, Hope Boy himself. The original Hope Boy, that is. Not Crazy Hope Boy from DR2. Together with the former members of the Future Foundation, started the Gopher Project at Hope's Peak Academy. Only genius can overcome nature, and only hope can overcome despair. Our young geniuses must escape this earth to become the seat of the future, Josie. That is the only hope for, hope for humanity. With those principles, the Gopher Project began, and 16 Hope's Peak students were selected. We were those 16 students. That's it. We weren't all attending different high schools. We were all attending the rebuilt Hope's Peak Academy. I mean, yeah, that's how the DR3 anime ended. Spoilers. With Makoto and company rebuilding Hope's Peak. With Makoto as the new headmaster. Mm. Sorry, I'm just drinking some of my uh, hot chalk as I ponder this, this twist. We were the students that applied after learning Hope's Peak was rebuilt. And the new Hope's Peak was like the last in that it accepted applications for talented students and cultivated ultimate talents, Josie. Hope's Peak Academy was a large school, so we were all in separate classes. But we were all students of Hope's Peak Academy. From the candidates, the 16 of us were selected for the Gopher Project because... No, we weren't selected. We were the only ones left, Josie. Oh, wow. <laughs> that feels, um... <laughs> it feels weird, doesn't it? In light of um, everything going on at the moment. A mysterious virus from the meteorites had spread rapidly around the world, Josie. The entire world was on the brink of extinction. Hope had almost triumphed, but cruel despair came roaring back to overtake the world. But we just happened to be immune to the virus. That's the reason why we were chosen for the Gopher Project. You just happened to be immune? I finally remembered. Okay, that's all the fucking CGs. That world. This world. It's all connected. What? That's it. Oh my god, and this tune comes in. Of course it does. So... What do we make of this, then? Everyone, did you all remember? Yes. Yeah, yes. I can vividly recall everything now. Yes. Yeah, why... How could we forget something so important? Yeah. We were students of Oaks Peak Academy. <laughs> we were the symbols of hope and trusted with the survival of humanity. Okay. Except for one person. That punk. Kokichi Oma, the mastermind behind this killing game. His organization's real identity. Were the remnants of despair. Right? I don't know what to make of all this, folks. I mean, sure, okay. Let's just roll with it for now. That's right. The cult organization out to destroy the Gopher Project. If Kokichi is the leader, that means he controls the remnants of despair. But I thought the remnants of despair were... specifically the DR2 cast. Are we saying that there are other ones? Or there were more? Out of all of us, he is the closest to the ultimate despair. Right? Mm. It's so obvious, a killing game like this could only be done by the remnants of despair. Last trial, Monokuma, the students of Hope's Peak Academy. It's all just like Junko and Oshima's killing game. Only someone who worships the ultimate despair would replicate that killing game. Which means... Yeah, which means that this killing game is just like the one that came before. It's a battle between hope and despair. Oh, man. So we're back to this, are we? We Are, are we actually back to this? Yeah, killing game that... Oh, wrong voice. A killing game that Maya's hope in dark despair, Josie. You got a minute? Wait, hold on. If this is such an important killing game, then why did Kokichi abandon it? Uh... Yeah, that's also something the remnants of despair would do. They admire Junko and Ashima, right? 
made an elaborate plan to cause us to despair, but he got bored of that plan. Wanting to feel the despair of your plan being ruined, that's the ultimate despair for you. Hey! What's wrong, Mackie? So what? Nothing. I'm just not convinced. It's okay. It's probably fine though. It's not a big deal. Uh like on the one hand I knew there was gonna be another twist, but again, we're still only in chapter five. I don't know whether to believe this. I'm not even, I, I really don't know. That's all I can really say. Uh, okay. Are you sure, Josie? Right. Hey, we finally learned the truth, but we still can't do anything. Yeah. Even if we get out of this academy, the outside world is still destroyed. There's no hope left for us. Everyone. Yeah, no, we just need to become that hope. What's wrong? What's with you all of a sudden, my dear? If I must. Yeah, if all hope is lost, then it's up to us to become that hope. After all, we're students of Hope Speak Academy, aren't we? We're all that's left of the 16 who survived the battle between hope and despair. Listen closely. If we give up now, everyone who fought on the side of hope will have fought for nothing. That's true. Fought for nothing. I heard it. That's what my inner voice is telling me. And no matter what, I cannot abandon hope. I cannot give up. Yes, that's what it's urging me to do. Leave it to me. So I will not despair. Yeah, even if it's only a little, I will only move forward with hope. Uh, okay. Chelsea. Listen closely. Right now, there's no use in thinking about whether our lives have meaning or not. Because as long as we're alive, we still have the power to decide that meaning for ourselves. That's what I believe hope is. Getting real Makoto Naegi vibes from you all of a sudden. I see. Hey, that's what hope is. I see. Yeah, you're right. We're the students of the new Oaks Peak Academy, rebuilt as the symbol of hope. Yeah. If we, the students of Oaks Peak, give up, the world really will be plunged into despair. You're right. I got it. In the end, it's all about willpower, me dears. I'm going to live till the end and never give up. Even though I'm an old woman, and I'm probably only going to be living for a couple more years anyway. Mm. We won't be able to do anything in that destroyed world. Great, huh? But making the impossible possible is what magic is all about. Mm. It's a pain, but it'll be worth it. I'll live. I'll live for a hundred million more years. You guys. You're right. You're right. Let's do it, Josie. All right. Let's fight together against despair. Yes. Yeah, yes, as long as we stand together, without giving in to despair, we will find a new hope. We all stood in unison. We each felt the power of hope coursing through us, driving our bodies. The hope born in this academy, a tree of life with roots down deep. It was supporting each and every one of us. Yeah. Motivation is rushing through my entire body. <laughs> this is the power of hope. Me, uh... hey, with a laugh like that, you sound less like a mage and more like a wicked witch. Input. <laughs> Meow, yeah, Kokichi may have left that flashback light to make us give up. Input, come on now. But if that was his plan, it failed. It's true. It does seem as though Kokichi's plan went wrong somewhere. The only person who can give us flashback lights is Kokichi. Hey! So what's our plan now? What are we going to do about Kokichi, Josie? That's right. We're going to stop you-know-who, the remnant of despair, or this despair will never end. Okay. We have to save Kaito, too. You're right! I think that's the first time I've ever seen Maki smile, isn't it? E, of course. You're right. He's so stupidly positive. He's just the kind of guy we need at a time like this. That's right. Yeah, with Kaido by our side encouraging us, then even if we are the only people left, I think we can still find a new hope. That's exactly right. I know. I knew that even in a situation like this, Josie, he'd think of something. Uh... E, the problem is, where are Kokich and Kaito? I have a feeling they're in the Exosol hangar. I mean, just given the fact that Kokichi forced Shuichi to give it up. The uh, control for the hangar door, that is. It's okay. They're in the exit hall hangar. Huh? Both of them? Kokichi did say that Kaito would be trapped in there, but. Okay. By chance, I happened to see Kokichi leaving the hangar during night time yesterday. What? By chance? R oh, wrong voice. He, by chance, really? Right, right! I bet the truth is you were worried about Kaito and watching the hangar all day, weren't you, my love? <laughs> Are we going with this head cannon? Is this the ship? Maki X Kaito, ladies and gents. Looks like that was the case. So what? It's not like I was worried about Kaito or anything. I just had nothing else to do. Oh yeah, that's it. Give us the Sunderay vibes, why don't ya? Also, I'm used to watching others, so it wasn't any trouble. It's important for assassins to watch their targets and think of ways to kill them. Stop it. Stop, stop. We were just getting mushy, but you had to make it all bloody instead. 100%. Yeah, we know they're in the exercise hangar, but how do we get them out? Yes, the, the door. The hangar has an alarm system that will go off if anyone approaches the shutter. On top of that, Kokichi has the alarm remote key to shut off that alarm system. 
he's also an electric barrier, right? You need to do something about that too. Yes. Yeah, yes, but even approaching the control panel will set off the alarm too. So many problems right from the start. What should we do? It's okay. It'll be fine. I think I know how to stop the alarm system and the electric barrier. Does she have an idea? Hmm. Okay, I probably have to talk to her, don't I? Okay. Hmm. If we don't stop Kukichi, a remnant of despair, then this despair will never end. Or something like that would be a cinch for my magic. It's overflowing with hope. After you've undone the alarm system electric barrier, then leave it to me. <laughs> I'll leave it to you then, Himiko. Sure thing. Hey, how did I forget I was a student of Oaks Peak Academy? Hmm. Yeah, I suspect that Kokiji was very deliberate about erasing our memories. Because we have gained newfound power now that we remember Oaks Peak Academy. You're right. Kokiji was afraid of us awakening the power of hope. Yeah. Hey, let's do it, Shuichi. Let's rescue Kaito and stop that little whippersnapper, Kokichi. Yes. Well, everyone seems Kokichi. fired up. Now, we'll not let Kokichi's despair win in the end. As soon as the post-speak academy, we must unite and fight back against despair. Alright, Maki, what's your plan then? What's the deal? Um, um. With you? How do you plan to get past the alarm system and barrier, Josie? Okay. With the electro hammer. Do you still have one of them? Well... If you hit the control panel with it, it should disable the electric barrier. We did the same thing to the electronic lock on the exit to the outside world. <laughs> oh god. But Yeah, but it won't work the same way on the alarm system, will it? The alarm will go off before we can even get close enough to use the electro hammer. That's true. Then we'll use this. Oh. Yeah. You still have one of the electro bombs as well. Because we didn't actually use those, did we? When we went through the tunnel, I don't think we did. Is that Yes, it was the one he had. <laughs> well apparently he actually had three of them though, didn't he? Was it three? Yeah, I think it was three, wasn't it? Oh, oh it's not exactly a bomb, no. Even if it is called an electro bomb, it jams electronic signals by scattering particles that interfere with electromagnetic waves. Oh, oh. For two hours, any and all electronic devices within 50 yards will be completely disabled. It's perfect for any secret no activities too, since it doesn't leave any debris behind. Oh, oh, oh. This invention is extraordinary! Okay, he only has three. So it is three, I got that right. Oh, so I need to use them carefully. You guys will have to settle for the electro hammers. Right. Hmm. Hey, why'd you have that, Maki? There were only three and I thought Kokichi had them. <laughs> I stole it from his pocket. Oh. Okay. Really? Wow. I mean... I mean, I know, I know pickpockets are very light-fingered. It was real sleight of hand. But man, to be able to get it off him without him noticing whilst he's facing you... Wow, that's, that's some freaking real skill, I'm <laughs> just gonna say. During that time... Yeah. As expected, your kleptomania and terrifying glare are both first class. <laughs> She's not a kleptomaniac, Himiko. The terrifying glare part was a joke, so can you stop glaring at me so terrifyingly? Thank you very much. Yeah, nice work, Maki. We can use our electro bomb to get inside the hangar. No. Not only that, it'll disable all communication, Josie. I feel like maybe Kibo's gonna have to stand back when we do that, though. Okay. I should include the remote control Kokichi uses for the exercise, Josie. One hundred percent. Yeah, if we use the electro bomb in front of the house shutter, it should affect the entire hangar. <laughs> Then Kokichi will be as good as butt naked. All we'll be able to do is hold his crotch and run. Oh, <laughs> Himiko. <laughs> is that something you'd like to see, is it? No. But he might still be able to control an exercise from inside. Oh, bye. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's not the important part, Himiko. But naked. No. You know, I'm pretty sure he'll be clothed. See. Yeah, then we should bring the electro hammers as a precaution against the exercise. Uh -huh. Oh, dang. I just left mine sitting around without charging it. Sorry. Sorry, but I did too, Josie. Mm. Yeah, it takes 24 hours to charge an electro hammer, so we'll have to wait until tomorrow morning. Huh? We're gonna wait until tomorrow morning. What about the hangar? Uh... Hey, we don't really have a choice, do we? Without the electro hammers, it's impossible. Remember. Maki, I know that you don't want to wait for a single minute more than necessary, Josie. But we shouldn't try this until tomorrow, when everyone's ready. That's true. Fine, that's what we'll do then. This time, we'll definitely kill him. Kill? Wait! 
No, Maki, you can't. Even if he's a remnant of despair, that doesn't... That punk. But if we kill him, then everything will end. We have no other choice. I don't know. I don't know if it's that simple. Still only chapter five, folks. Hmm. Sorry, just drinking more of my uh, chocolate. It's actually getting a bit lukewarm. I need to get it down. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, good lord. Sorry. Probably wondering what the fuck just happened then. Well, yeah. have you ever had it with hot chocolate sometimes where it almost like forms a bit of a skin on top? I know that sounds really weird, but yeah, I just yeah, I just got a mouthful of like a tiny like, piece of hot chocolate skin. It was yeah, yeah, horrible. For that reason, I will kill him. No, but you can't. You're right. I understand how you feel, Maki, but we feel bad after we kill them. Don't. Yeah, it'd be no more different than the killing game that's causing so much suffering. Yeah. yeah, that's the sort of thing the remnants of despair or Kira would do. Okay. Yeah, time. <laughs> Bring in your references, girl. Well, Kaito said that killing is wrong, remember? I knew it. So we can't. <laughs> oh, you just want to see him dead, don't you? Okay, okay. Fine. If everyone thinks that way, then I'll listen to you guys. Well... But if it seems like anything dangerous is going to happen, then I'll definitely kill him. Ah. Oh. Mm. <sighs> Hey, Maki's actually reliable. No. no, she's dangerous. There's nothing more dangerous than a heated Maki roll. Mm. If a Maki roll gets too heated, you could burn your tongue. <laughs> she uh, doesn't like your jokes, Himiko. You see those eyes? They were like a predator looking at its prey. Well. You may have deserved that, Himiko. Alright. But it's true that this is quite unexpected. I don't think we'll be able to stand together as one again. And it's thanks to Maki. While we were sedentary, feeling sorry for ourselves, she was planning. I suppose it might also be thanks to Kaido, Josie. Because Kaido was worried about her. She promised to work hard to do her best. Of course, if I pointed that out, she'd ask me if I wanted to die again. Wait a minute. What are you looking at? Sorry. Hey. Let's do our best. Then the three of us can claim together again. Uh, okay. Yeah, right. Alright then. Guess we go to the hangar. Finalised our plan to get into the Exocile hangar tomorrow morning. Hmm. Drink up a bit more of that. Until then, we would wait for the Electro Hammers to recharge and finish preparations. We split up, focused and determined. Hmm. Hmm. So what's going to happen now? Are we going to get free time? All right. First, we need to charge the Electro Hammer, Josie. But I shouldn't just stand around waiting. I need to make up for lost time. That's to be something I can do. Oh, oh, nice job, Mr. Ultimate Detective. That was a wise call, Shuichi. But your talent is useless now. The mystery of the killing game, the secret of the outside world, the mastermind's identity. They're all solved. We don't need a detective anymore. This is the true ending. No, it's not true. There's to be something I can do. Right. I should scout the area. It'd be a good idea to check out the scene before we execute the plan, Josie. And I'm worried about Kaito. He's hurt, and he's sick. I'm sure he doesn't want me to worry about him, but I have to. Okay. Alright, I'll go. Oh, what? Are we going to the hangar? Is that what it wants? Sorry. Just get the important stuff out of the way. Beat around my furniture. Alright, well, I guess... Yeah, well... Sounds like we're heading off to the hangar then. Oh, Kibo, what are you up to? You okay there? Shuichi! Oh, Shuichi! Um... We must rescue Kaido, no matter what. If we're to defeat despair and find a new hope for ourselves, I'm certain we'll need him by our side. Okay. Yeah, you're right, Josie. It was thanks to Kaido that we're all working together again. All right. Now, let's save Kaido and stop Kokichi together. This is the beginning of our new hope. Our new hope, eh? Danganronpa Episode 4. A <laughs> new hope. <laughs> Insert Star Wars opening here. No. Can't do that. It's fucking copyright music. Alright. I guess this is what it wants us to do. So let's go and do it. Hello, hello. Alright. Oh, you're here as well, apparently. What's up? Could it be? Hey, did you come out of your room because you couldn't calm down? Okay. Yeah. I guess. Hey, I was the same. I couldn't stay still. Um. This morning I barely had the willpower to get out of bed. It's all thanks to Maki. Yeah. I can hardly believe it. Maki was so sunderay in the beginning, is now the one pulling us all along. Um. Eee, but it's probably because of Kaito's influence. Input. 
Input! Huh? Why do you think that, Josie? Input! Uh. Hey, why? You can tell just by looking. Mackie's interested in Kaito. Otherwise, she wouldn't be watching the hangar the whole time like she is. Uh, okay. Yeah, I suppose that's true, Josie. Huh? Hey, are you shocked? Were you guys in some reverse love triangle situation? Uh, um... No, it's not like that at all, Josie. Yeah. Hey, I didn't mean to shock you like that, me dear. I just meant to mock you about Mackie. I wonder, when we were at Oak Peak Academy, did we have fun and tease each other like this? Okay. Well, we're in different classes, Josie, so I'm sure we had friends like that. Right. Even if we can't go back to that time, there's still hope left in the world. I'm going to keep living with confidence till the very end. That's my vow as one of the last students of Oak Peak Academy. Good for you. Also, I just had a thought. Ugh, can I... Hmm. Am I allowed to visit the casino? Just to check? I know it's not a free time event, but... Oh. Oh, I can't go back upstairs. Oh, okay. No, I have to do this. With a friggin', um... Tango. Hang on. Himiko's over here, though. Sup, girl? What are you doing? I've got so much motivation now. I can't wait till the Electro Hammer recharges. Yeah. Calm down, Himiko. You can spend all your energy now, Josie. You won't have any when you really need it. Mm -hmm. I see. That's true, too. But who would imagine that we're the last over for humanity and this was a spaceship? I don't wanna. That's not right. Are they really gonna throw away the whole magic theme just like that? Uh, um. uh, was there a magic theme in the first place, Josie? <laughs> just say it to her face. Alright, well I guess we have to go into the hangar then. No mucking around. Shuichi has decided this is what we're gonna do. Alright. I mean, this is kind of risky. I feel like Kokichi could be anywhere. I don't know if we want to necessarily be seen by him, but... Hello? If I keep going, I should reach the hangar. If Kokichi's in the hangar, there's a good chance the exercise are patrolling nearby, Josie. I should be careful. Uh-oh. <laughs> Did this turn into a stealth game all of a sudden? I hear one of them. Or maybe a couple of them, in fact. What's going on? Oh! Uh, what's going on here? Huh? Huh? Monokuma? It's the first time I've seen him in a while. Are the Exosols protecting him? But why now? And why all four of them, Josie? Kokichi is controlling them, right? So why would he do that? Wait, if the Exosols are here, they aren't guarding the hangar. This is my chance, Josie. I should hurry, but carefully. I don't want to draw attention. What? So what do I... Oh, okay. He, he won't let us get too close. Okay, he's, he's saying, hurry up to the hangar. Well, that's a weird fucking sight. Huh. Don't know what's going on there, but okay. Make a mental note of that, ladies and gents. Something weird's going on. Guess we go to the hangar then, right? Obviously, we can't get too close. The alarm is enabled, Josie. The electric barrier is up too. I can't get close to the shutter. I only saw four exosols. I don't know where the other one is. Perhaps inside the hangar? Hmm. Hopefully I can find a good spot to survey the scene, Josie. If I remember correctly, there's a bathroom with a small window there. Oh. You want me to go and check this out? Hello? Oh. Can we now look at this? Can we look at this before? Ah. Oh. I don't remember being able to look at it before. There's a window. The bathroom window? Can I see inside from there? I knew this bathroom was going to come into play. Did I not say, when we first came here, it seemed odd that that bathroom was there and there was nothing to look at? See? Everywhere has a purpose. I peeked into the small window and saw a silhouette on the other side, Josie. <laughs> Who is it? Huh. What are you doing here? Jesus. Are you alright? Kaito! Don't shout, stupid! Kokichi will hear us! Uh, is he close by? No, I'm locked up in this bathroom, but Kokichi's just outside that door. It'll be bad news if he sees you here. He's got the Exosols with him. I mean, he's got four of them. But for some reason, they're wandering around near Monokuma. Yeah, that's true. Wait, so what are you doing here? What am I doing here? Saving you, of course. What? By yourself? No, I'm just scouting the place. Tomorrow morning, we're all coming to rescue you. All of you? 
It was Maki's idea. Honestly, I... I had given up. We had all given up. But not Maki. She did everything she could to get you back. It's because she believes in you, Kaito. She knows that you would never give up, no matter how bad things got. Y yeah of course I'm Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars. Yes, let's have an actual conversation now. Stop brushing me off, boy. Even if the world has ended and humanity has gone extinct, I can't give up. It'd be a crappy story if the hero gave up so easily. Yeah, that's right, Kaito. Don't you worry. I'll do something about all this. That's a promise. All you guys are working so hard, so I can't just sit back and relax. Don't do anything stupid. Alright? Okay. <laughs> We're planning the rescue. Don't fuck it up for us. There's something I want to ask him. I don't care if he's overconfident or acting. I just want to hear him say, don't worry, it'll be okay. It's just... I'm happy you guys want to save me, but stay safe, okay? Getting close to an Exosol is dangerous, even if you've got an Electro Hammer. Got it. Uh, by the way, are you feeling okay? Apart from the injury, obviously. Who, me? Yeah, of course. That's nothing. Kaito, out with it. What's wrong with ya? We know it's not nothing. Anyway, Kokichi should be back soon, so we better end our chat. Ah, okay, sure. And hey, Kaito, about what happened with Gongta. Shuichi, I leave the rest to you. What? While I'm gone, you gotta support everyone. Especially Maki Roll. She can be reckless sometimes. I feel like that's pot calling the kettle black, but okay. Yeah. You're an impressive detective, through and through. You might not only reach the truth, but something even beyond it. And don't forget, you're not alone. Why do I feel like this is building up to something again? I don't know. When characters start having heart to hearts like that. Don't try to do everything yourself. It's only going to wear you out. When times are hard, you got to rely on your friends. Rely on your friends. That's it. That's what I've been neglecting, Josie. I believe in you. So I'm leaving the rest to you for now. You got it, Shuichi. Kaito, thank you. Thank you for being my friend. Oh, something is going to happen to him, isn't it? Oh, I don't like where it's going. <laughs> I understand. I have that sen sense of impending catastrophe. All right, now get going before Kokichi comes back. You're right. See you tomorrow, Kaito. Hmm. After leaving Kaito with a smile, I return to my room, Josie. Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. There's no point in wandering around. I should stay in my room and relax. Try to get myself into the right mindset for the final battle, Josie. While I was meditating on it, it became night time before I knew it. He's still not there. It's funny, I, I mean, I would have thought. Is that why he's just not there? Because he's just in the hangar? Monokuma? I feel like something is weird going on there. Because Shuichi's like, oh, are they protecting him? But it doesn't look like it. You don't suppose they're kind of keeping him there? Hmm. Yeah, there's something weird going on. There's something not right. Uh, um... We go at dawn. I won't hesitate anymore, Josie. Kaito has taught me. All right. I have to do it. I have to live to find a reason to live. I will fight. I spent that night with that thought nestled deep into my heart, Josie. Well, at least we get some Monokuma theatre. Don't panic. Just stay calm and listen. Well, if you're watching this Monokuma Theatre segment, it's already too late. You kids might not know, but to a 100% cotton mascot like me, hope is, well... The thought of seeing young people brimming with hope, killing each other just to survive. Watching their hope fade away, there's nothing more despair-inducing than that. My dear students, carrying humanity's hope, betraying, deceiving and killing each other, it makes me oh so sad. Oh, how I long to see everyone's despairing faces, soaked in blood and tears. I've gone and done it! Hmm. Is it go time? I see the electro hammer on the floor. Yep. <laughs> hmm. I have to 
after that empty announcement from Monokuma, I jumped out of bed. All right. All right, here we go. First to the dining hall. I grabbed the charged electro hammer and ran out of my room, Josie. Hmm. Is so it just going to take it? Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> Probably have to have to wander there. I think we'll keep going for the time being. So I'm just curious to see how this is going to fucking turn out. I don't even know. I, mean, I don't know what to expect. Let's see. Guys? Oh god, for a second I thought they weren't going to pop up then. Yeah. We're all here. Everyone. Now, yeah, is everyone ready? Yeah. Of course, my electron is all recharged. At that moment I realised one of us didn't have their electro hammer. Maki? Hmm. Maki, where's your electro hammer? Nope. I don't need it. I'd rather not use a weapon I'm unfamiliar with. Okay. This is... Oh, oh god. Jesus. Sorry. <laughs> this is much better. Uh, um... A knife? Well, I suppose you know best, Josie. Hey! Hey, then we're off. Hey! And before that, there's something I want to say. I scouted out the hangar yesterday. Huh? You scouted out the hangar? Uh, okay. Yeah, and I discovered that Kaito was trapped in the hangar's bathroom. I see. Hey, the bathroom, I see. That certainly is the best place to lock someone up. If I remember correctly... And I also... Oh, wrong voice. <laughs> and I also saw... This. Hmm. Monokuma by the hangar, being, guarded, uh, being protected by four exosiles. It doesn't look like they're protecting him. It looks like they're guarding him. I.e. They're keeping him in place. Which seems fucking weird. Is that alright? So we have to be careful that we aren't spotted, Josie. <gasps> yeah, I saw that too. Huh? What, you saw that? You, were you at the hangar too, Kibo? Yes. Yeah, yes. I thought maybe I could get through to Kokichi before we carry out our plan. So I went to the hangar last night and tried to talk to him. What? You tried to talk to him on your own? Well... Yeah, I'm sorry. I thought it'd be preferable for him to release Kaido peacefully. Hey! Hey, how did it go? As I thought. Yeah, it went about as well as I expected. There was no response at all. But... But I did witness a few things. Mm -hmm. What? What did you witness? Well... Yeah, we can discuss that later. For now, I'll share what I saw what is relevant to our plan. For now... Shuichi saw four exercises that appeared to be guarding Monokuma. Well, I saw one of them enter the hangar. N no. Just one, Josie? Yes. Yeah, yeah, the green exercise. Huh. If I remember correctly. The green one. I'm sure I saw that one guarding Monokuma. I. Yeah, I made sure to stay out of sight while I watched. Neither had the alarm system nor the electric barrier reacted to the exercise's presence. Creepy. Hey, does that mean the alarm system and the electric barrier don't work on the exercise? That's right. Yeah, considering it's where the exercise are stored, that would appear to be a safe assumption. The uh, input. Hmm. Anyway, there are two exercises in the hangar. We should be careful. We only have one chance. Okay. Since this is our only electro bob, we can't afford to miss. You're right. That's exactly right, Josie. Mm. Well then, we're off a reel this time. Everyone! Yeah, let's go. We must end this killing game once and for all, no matter what. Energized and motivated, the group rushed out of the dining hall, one after the other, Josie. Alright. Alright, here I go. Oh boy. I don't know how this is gonna go. And I'm worried. Because this don't feel like it. I'm going the wrong way. Where am I going? <laughs> this way. Oh, I don't know what to expect. I feel like this is not going to go well. Okay, before I go there, can I go to the casino? I just want to check in case, you know. Damn it. <laughs> I just want to check in case, you know, the item that I wanted showed up again. Or showed up again? Why did I say again? It hasn't showed up once. <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, let's get through here. I am worried. Everyone must have gotten to the hangar already. I shouldn't be late, Josie. Alright, let's go. Let's get ourselves around here. So, is Monokuma still around here? Oh. Hmm. He's not there anymore. And those three are dormant? Huh? Monokuma's not here. He should have been protected by the Exosiles, Josie. And the Exosiles. They don't look like they're gonna move. What's going on? Something's wrong. Yeah. 
Uh oh. Brace yourself, ladies and gentlemen, I think. We might be on the verge of something very bad. And there are only three of them. There should be two more in the hangar. That's true. It's just like Kibo said. We should consider ourselves lucky that there's only two. For five of them are here, it'd be impossible to execute the plan, Josie. All right. All right, let's keep moving. All right, let's keep going. What's the deal? Can I uh, look through here? It's dangerous to call for Kaito now. This will all be for now if Kokichi finds us. All right. Well, everyone's around here then. What's the deal, guys? Well then. Yeah, everyone is here. Let's get started right away. Mm. I'm ready. Are you okay? Hey, Maki, are you ready with the electro bomb? Hey. Who do you think you're talking to? Similar to a grenade, except the detonation lags a bit after you push the switch. Oh god, my voice went out then. Yeah. Let me just uh, <clears throat> clear my throat. Once we roll this to the front of the shot, it will just disable the alarm system. That's obvious. This, oh, oh, God. Man, that voice is really taking the breath out of my lungs. This won't fail. Hmm. Now, the electro bomb has an effective range of 50 yards, and that's for two hours. If Kokichi's remote control is disabled, it will stand a chance against the Exosiles. All right. Let's stop Kokichi before he gets into the Exosile, Josie. But be ready for the worst. We might have to use the electro hammers. If he gets into that Exosile, I'll stop him with his hammer. Yeah. Hey, you're right. What's the matter? What's wrong, Maggie Roll? We're all ready to start, you know. I see you've taken to that nickname, haven't you, very quick. That's true. Yeah, all right. Then let's go. I still feel like Kibo maybe has to stand back for this, but we'll see. Maki triggered the electro bomb and then rolled it in front of the shutter. And then... One hundred percent. Yeah, the alarm system is disabled. Now we can approach the control panel. Shuichi! Shuichi, will you do the honors? Leave it to me. Alright, leave it to me, Josie. Alright, to the control panel it is then. Yeah. Alright. If I hit the control panel with this, as I swung up the electro hammer, I suddenly noticed. Huh? Yeah. What's Oh, I, I just noticed that then, yeah. The control panel was covered in marks, as if damaged by something sharp. What are you trying to pull? Shuichi, what are you doing? Hurry up. Okay. Sorry, I got it. No time to think now, Josie. I aimed my swing at the control panel and brought it down as hard as I could. Oh my! I think we... I, I, I think we are about to walk in on something real bad here. I'm not gonna lie. I had a strange sense, but having seen that control panel covered in scratches makes me think something has happened. Electro barrier turned off. Everyone! Yeah, let's go. We all ran to the shutter at once, Josie. All right. Hey, we won't let Kokichi do whatever he wants anymore. Yeah. You better be ready. This is it. All right. Yeah, the remnants of despair end here and now. After opening the shutter, we burst into the hangar, electro hammers in hand. <laughs> To end this. To end this killing game, Josie. To end this despair. Oh no. Who's dead? Who's dead? Oh my god! Is that Kaito's jacket? That looks like the sleeve of Kaito's jacket. Oh shit, I knew. I fucking knew we were going to walk in on something bad there. Okay, this is where we're going to wrap up here for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Oh man. Yeah, there's going to be another murder case. It's only freaking chapter five. There's more yet. There's probably going to be more twists. Okay, so someone is dead. So in the next episode... We'll be uh, finding what the deal with that is, and we'll be doing an investigation, probably. So I hope you'll join me for that, then, in part 5, uh, part 45, <laughs> not part 5. <laughs> Facebook and links down below, along with the link to my propagandist channel for anyone interested. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz. And I'll see you in the next part, everyone. Goodbye! <laughs>
you just need to keep trying. You just need to get it in the right order. Metal sound comes from somewhere in the room. That's the cage, no doubt. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Nice to have an audience. I won't lie. Even if they are a bunch of creepy looking demons. Well, good to know that the uh, spirits of hell certainly appreciate good music. Right. Cage door is open. Inside is a puppet. I feel like we have to take it out. Ugh. Well, I can't say I was expecting a hand, but okay. A detached, twisted hand.